Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 3000. Uh, yeah, I've been doing it that long, and um, it's there somewhere, so go check it out. A uh, little bit of a small bundle this video. I'm going to try and compress what I find for the sake of uh, video length. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of 20 plus pickup videos, and for some reason my ADD like really shuts down on videos that go longer than that, but... Um, um, progress, I suppose. So I'm, I'm just going to get right into it, and I'm going to start this off with a trade. Um, really good friend of mine, Andre, also known as Retro Zapper. Go check out his channel. Super awesome guy. Um, I basically gave him a few games left over from three mini collections that I was selling to another YouTuber. That'll be another video for another time. Um, and, uh, he's like, hey, I have an extra, uh, snowball mic, and he, and I'm like, I want it, and we're trying to figure out, um, a value, and we went back and forth, and then finally he's like, hey, um, he picked out a couple games from the photos, and, um, we agreed on it, and I got this little baby. I'm really excited to get this. The other thing is that it doesn't have the stand, but the cool thing is, is I have friends who work in a theater and also in a sound production so I'm pretty sure I can find a, a replacement some way somehow but for what I traded him for it that was a steal and I've heard nothing but good things about those um <clears throat> these two I got from another really good friend and uh just like with Andre fellow uh, distracted uh, gamer podcast member Kevin uh you can also find him at console kev uh, super awesome guy. Uh, we we play um, Rocket League and Hulk and Battlefront on PS4 all the time. Uh, talk to him every day, and he's like, "Hey, I got a cool uh, N64 with some games. Does anybody want any?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure, I want that." Pointing out one of the games, and I'm like, "What do you want for it?" He's like, "I'm just gonna send it to you." Let me just stop right there, Kevin. You need to knock it off with that, okay? The dude gives stuff away, and not fair. So. Here's what we're going to do. When he hits 300 subs, we're just going to send him stuff. We're just going to send him mountains of stuff, and you're not going to do anything about it. Because that's not the only game he sent me. These were just, this was him giving me stuff. So first it was Wild Arms 4, then it was Super Smash Brawl, which I gave to my brother as a Christmas present, and then it's these two. So the one game that he um, put in at the last second was a copy of the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which I am so excited to have because I love Mega Man. And the other game which I can't believe he gave, was Mario Kart 64. And for those of you who know, this this does get a little pricey. So, Kevin, you you bastard. You son of a gun. I hate you. Stop it. Hearts. That was so lame. <laughs> uh, this game got it. Uh, GameStop, no other reason other than I want to get into the series. I've heard good things about it, and I don't have... Um, and I, I almost have the complete collection. I'm basically staying on main consoles and away from handhelds. So the PSP version is not going to count. And that would be uh, Disgaea 4 for PS3. Um, I'm waiting for the fifth one to drop in price a little bit for the PS4. And I do plan on starting the very first game um, later this month. Uh, the last part of this, this came from a trade. Another trade. And I'm not going to, he's officially done with gaming. You might know who I'm talking about. Jason, now on his JC the Comic Geek channel again. Welcome back. Jason is one of the coolest, nicest people I know. Um, a really good friend. Um, someone who I talk to almost daily. Um, he's got some, you know, got some stuff going on in his life right now. He's taking care of um, his father-in-law with, like, the mounting hospital bills. And he's like, hey, man, I'm kind of done with video games. I'm kind of get want to get back into comics again. And he's like, let me know what uh, TBHs or runs you have. And I basically took pictures of all of them, and he basically picked out a few. So what I did um, was I basically sent him every run minus my Walking Dead Volume 1 and all my Star Wars ones. As well as a few items from my wife to his uh, family, which he, he'll he'll probably mention in the comments or in another video. I don't know. 
Um, and I basically picked out a handful of games that I wanted. And this is what I traded for. And it's super awesome because now all the versions of this game that are available on PS1 I now own. So, excluding this, uh, Gauntlet Legends for the PlayStation. Um, I haven't played the PS1 version. I have played the reboot on PS2, which is good, but I played the hell out of the N64 version, which is the best one to play. Um, and the series that he helped me finish up would be Final Fantasy Origins, Final Fantasy Chronicles, and Final Fantasy Anthology. So pretty much I have Final Fantasy 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6 covered. Oh boy. So I gotta get 3. Anyone that has 3, you know, hook a brother up. And the last thing he sent me for the Xbox 360 was a copy of The Witcher 2 Assassin's King Enhanced Edition. This has the, a little player's guide in there. And um, Sarah is loving that, so he's gonna try that real soon. So I got all that really cool stuff. A lot of this was trades, which saved me a lot of money. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you felt like about like the degree in which the stuff I got. Uh, let me know what cool games that are in that kind of same family I should keep an eye out for. But hopefully this compressed version is be a popular trend. And until next time, I will see y'all later.